Hi, welcome back to my video series. I do an A to Z video series on topics to do with pregnancy and perinatal mental health. And today we're talking about C for coping, or maybe more specifically, how to cope when you can't have coffee or alcohol. So these are my kind of tips that I've got that aren't as good as coffee or alcohol maybe, but it'll get you through. So my first one is to connect with somebody. Send someone a text message, phone somebody, get on an internet forum, have somebody in your life who isn't going to tell you what to do or isn't going to judge you, but is just going to be there as a kind of, you know, I hear you, I see you, I see that what you're going through is crap, but they're not going to try and rush in and fix all your problems. Now, if you don't have somebody in your life like that, you need to find somebody. We all need somebody in our life who isn't going to judge us for how we're going. Um, and the thing is, when you're pregnant, everybody wants to know how you're feeling anyway. Have you noticed when you're pregnant, you'll never have so many people in your life ask you how you're feeling. So take advantage of it and tell people how you're feeling because they're interested. They actually want to know. Um, okay, my next tip is to go outside. I know there's not a lot of sun at the moment if you're in the southern hemisphere, but without chemical stimulants of alcohol and coffee, the sun is probably one of your best bets. You want the sun to hit the back of your eyelids because it tells those sleep hormones to turn off and that it's time to wake up. So get outside and get some sun. It gives you vitamin D, which we all need in winter. And if it's not sunny, go outside anyway. Make sure you've got rain gear if you need it. You've got warm clothes. I guess a good sort of adage, particularly when you've got young kids later on, is there's no such thing as inappropriate weather, just inappropriate clothing. So get yourself outside and get some fresh air. It can really, really help. Okay, my next one, positive coping statements. Some people call them positive affirmations doesn't really matter what you call them. You need a list of things in your head to repeat to yourself other than telling yourself that you're crap, that you're worthless, that you're stupid, that you can't do anything or whatever it is that you're telling yourself a million times a day and replace it with just some simple basic statements that are positively framed. I can do this. I'm managing just fine. I'm coping just as well as anybody else. I am enough is a big one. Have a list of things that you're going to just spit out, fake it till you make it, Get in the habit of telling yourself positive things. It doesn't have to be things you don't believe in, but find some things that you think, all right, even if it's just a, I can manage, I can do this. Positive coping statements will change your whole way of thinking about yourself. The next one is ease the load. Is there something you can say no to? Is there someone you can say no to? Is there someone in your life who's not happy whether you turn up or don't turn up anyway? Then say no. Learning to say no is really, really important for mums. It's important for everybody. But think about it. When you have small children running around, you're going to have to learn to say no. We need boundaries. They need boundaries. Start saying no to people. It will help you just realise what's important in life. And there's probably, we've all got things on our list that we can say, I don't actually need to do this today. I feel like I need to do it today, but I actually don't have to do it today. So ease the load. Okay, that's a few tips. If none of that's helping, what else starts with C? Chocolate. Chocolate has theobromine. So there you go. Try that. Or cheese. Cheese has tryptophan that make you feel good. If you turn up to one of my hypnobirthing classes in winter or throughout the rest of the year, you might find some cheese and some chocolate. If that's not enough to convince you to come, I don't know what is. Um, I hope you're all coping well. If you're not, reach out, seek support. Contact me. You can find me at drerin.com.au. I run hypnobirthing classes, but I also do birth debriefing and general perinatal mental health and clinical psychology as well. So feel free to get in touch and I will see you next time. Bye.